Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of simplifying expressions and order of operations. This is standard 5.4F in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 10 off the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have an expression. We need to find its value. So let's open up our graph draw feature, expand it out with those diagonal arrows, and let's make sure our transparency is, there we go, nice. All right, so we are going to use the draw feature here so we can kind of write all over this problem. This is an expression because we do not have an equal sign. When we have two expressions joined by an equal sign, we call that an equation. But an expression is simply a whole bunch of numbers with some operations, no equal signs. So how do we simplify this? Well, most of us are thinking order of operations. So please excuse my dear Aunt Sally is how I was taught. Most of us were taught that. What does that mean? Well, there's four different levels of the order of operations. So first, we always deal with the parentheses. We've got some parentheses here. So that's our first order of business. Within those parentheses, we just apply the order of operations. The second level, we don't really use in fifth grade, but it's good to know that it's there. You'll use that in sixth grade and above, exponent. Now, the third level is actually these two right here, multiplication and division. The reason they are together is because they are inverse operations, right? Whenever you're writing fact families, you always write two multiplication, two division sentences. So they're like peanut butter and jelly. And there we go. Addition, subtraction, same thing. They are inverse operations. When you're writing fact families, you're always writing two addition, two subtraction. You can use one to find the other. So that's why you can use them interchangeably. So if I see division before multiplication, I'm going to do that. If I see subtraction before addition, I'm going to do that going left to right. So let's deal with this. What do we have? We're going to take care of this divided by 2 at the very end because the parentheses happen first. So I'm going to rewrite it over here. It's going to be 8 times 4 plus 2 divided by 2 parentheses first. So within this parentheses, I'm going to apply my order of operations. Sometimes we will get two layers of parentheses, right? So you might see like brackets and then parentheses inside that. The brackets always go on the outside. We don't see that here. So we don't see parentheses inside the parentheses. We don't see exponents. I do see multiplication. There's no division in there. So I'm going to do that multiplication first. So first we're going to do 8 times 4. So I'm going to write it down. We're going to do one step at a time. And I'm just going to multiply 8 times 4, which is 32. But everything else stays the same plus 2, and then divide it by 2. Now, I'm still within the parentheses. There's only one operation left. It's the 32 plus 2. Uh, so I'm going to go down to that fourth level, take care of that addition. So 32 plus 2 is going to be, and I'll kind of rewrite it right here, 34. And then I've got the 34 divided by 2. Now I can... There's nothing inside the parentheses besides 34. So now we can finally kind of drop the parentheses. And we're going to get rid of that divided by 2, finally. So what is 34 divided by 2? Well, if we don't know, we can do a little long division here. 34 goes into, uh, 2 goes into 34. That 3 once. Bring down the 4. 2 goes into 14, 7. Okay, so when we're dividing by 2, basically we're cutting in half. So half of 34 is 17. All right, so that looks like my answer here is going to be 17. Now, if I were to ignore the parentheses, right, you can get some of these wrong answers here. If I were to ignore the parentheses and do 2 divided by 2 first, Right, that'd be 8 times 4. 2 divided by 2 is 1 plus 1. 8 times 4 is 32. Right, And 32 plus 1 gets you 33. So you see how you can get some of these incorrect answers if you uh, apply these incorrect. But we did it correct, so our answer here is going to be C.